We've got the first of three rounds of rainfall in the coming days headed our way right now. Got a little bit of light rain, more of a drizzle than anything that is kind of spreading across the metro area and up into Mississippi at the moment. Like this will be winding down with most of our rainfall not starting until well after about 3, 4 a.m. This is the rainfall I'm talking about. Thankfully, not a flooding threat and certainly not a severe threat as those storms move in late tonight. At the moment, mostly cloudy skies, a little bit of that light rain passing through 52 degrees, so it's kind of a cold, chilly rain. 33 degrees is our dew point, humidity only 49%. And I kind of thought maybe the humidity would be low enough to kind of evaporate some of that rain before it reached the ground, but we were able to squeeze out enough to kind of wet the roadways outside, but more to come as we head into the overnight period. Temperatures at the moment, upper 30s, Macomb and Bogalusa, 40s and low 50s. And the temperatures may come down a few more degrees and then may also come up as some of that rainfall starts moving in closer to daybreak tomorrow. Light wind out of the north. This is the first of three systems moving on through and it's kind of easing us into what may end up being a heavier rain event on Friday going into Saturday and possibly some severe weather going into early next week. So these showers on the march and will be here early tomorrow morning. Most of it is going to be uh, kind of a light moderate rainfall, maybe a few isolated downpours, but nothing more than really more of a nuisance rainfall, although much needed as we get the morning started. I say a nuisance because a lot of folks going back to school tomorrow going back to work and we will have a wet commute to begin the day. Now, thankfully, this is not an all morning event by 9 10 AM. Most of the rainfall gone wrapping up, pushing off to the east, and then we may even see some peaks of some sun, certainly more sunshine during the day Thursday and early on Friday before our next system marches our way. And we'll talk more about that one in a moment. Rainfall totals from the event tomorrow morning, nothing more than a half inch to maybe an inch of rainfall. So flooding, not an issue when flooding could become an issue issue is going to be the event on Friday that starts moving in maybe mid afternoon. Timing is still being worked out through the evening and night, and this has a better opportunity for maybe heavier downpours. And so the rain event for Friday into early Saturday will bring with it a low end threat for some isolated flooding. Now the good news is because we're going into now King's Day is that Friday night still some ongoing showers, but maybe wrapping up, especially early Saturday and by Saturday morning, probably daybreak rain is gone. So 12 night activities should be fine. But during that mainly Friday night and early Saturday event, we may see some isolated downpours that could lead to some street flooding. Now fast forwarding again. Here's the third round. This is Monday. Notice ahead of the rainfall, we have an onshore flow that starts bringing back warmer, more humid air and more instability. We might have a more unstable atmosphere that allows for the development of some isolated strong to severe storms on the back side of this by Tuesday, more of an Arctic air mass will be wrapping around. But with this event Monday into early Tuesday, we will have a low end threat of maybe some strong to severe storms at the moment. Looking at the probability of a slight risk, which would be a level two, we'll readdress that or reevaluate it as we get a little bit closer to so the first of three events of rain move in early tomorrow morning. Then we're dry for the rest of the day. Wednesday, Thursday, early Friday storms move in Friday, wrapping up early Saturday. Next event is most of the afternoon and evening Monday wrapping up early on Tuesday. So some good news. <laughs> so some good news there is that we will see a lot of the rainfall during the more late evening and nighttime hours, possibly wrapping up in the morning. So a lot of our any daytime events should be OK. Mm -hmm.